Yeah. You guys fucking suck. My parents are worth more than fucking two million goddamn dollars. And you know what? You fucking suck. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know what? My grandpa is worth more than one fucking My fucking attorney. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> hey! 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 Yo! Chill! Chill! Chill out! Come on! 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 <laughs> the video of the incident is quite shocking. At one point, there's a thrashing physical confrontation. The largest flight attendants union is in the country is now speaking out against Frontier Airlines and how it handled the aftermath of this, just the latest incident in the sky. This morning, fallout growing from this disturbing flight fight, ending in a passenger being wrapped in tape. 22-year-old Maxwell Barry now facing charges, accused of unruly behavior on a Frontier Airlines flight from Philadelphia to Miami Saturday. You guys suck. Police say Barry had been drinking and groped two female flight attendants and assaulted a male flight attendant. Barry seen here swinging at the man trying to restrain him. He started raising his voice and cursing, and then I realized that he was drunk. The flight attendants trying to get him under control, duct taping him to a seat. The passenger who shot this video saying the crew did the best they could in the situation. They were very professional, in my opinion. They had to restrain him because he was a, a, a danger for other passengers or himself. Barry, arrested upon landing, now faces three counts of battery. But the airline under fire this morning for its handling of the crew members involved, saying in an initial statement the flight attendants had been suspended pending further investigation, claiming proper policies for restraining passengers had not been followed. Amid backlash from the union representing flight attendants, the airline revising its language to claim the employees are on paid leave. This caught on camera fiasco is just another in a spate of incidents with unruly passengers this year. In its new weekly report, the FAA counting more than 3,700 such incidents since January 1st. What we have been saying since the beginning of January is that this new circumstance in aviation is simply something that flight attendants have not been trained for. If we don't get it together really soon across aviation and government, it is going to make people question whether or not they can come to work and be safe and whether or not they want to buy a ticket on an airplane. Help! This man got the right dentist, that's all I'm gonna say. The dentist is on point. Thank you, gentlemen. Just make sure your seatbelts are fastened. We are landing.